Hello, I'm Julia Cordova. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel and liking my videos. I really appreciate it. So I wanted to start this week with a quick story that I heard Art Cashin tell once when I used to listen to CNBC. But Art Cashin is one of the very few people that whenever he went on there, I was like, what? What's he saying? What? What? Smart guy. Okay, so the story is he was 18 years old. He was a tra or trader, and uh, it was in the midst of the Cuban Missile Crisis. And right as the bell was closing, the Dow starts careening down. It's crashing. And so he runs to his boss. And he's like, boss, boss, I, tr I tried to put in a sell order. I tried to sell all my stuff, and it didn't go through, you know, and it didn't go through. And, and uh, the boss is like, what? Calm down. You know, go give me a drink, and then we'll talk about this. So he does. He comes back, and the boss is like, listen. If you hear the rumor that the missiles are flying, you buy, you don't sell. And Art is like, what are you talking about? And he's like, because if the rumors are right, the order will never go through. We'll all be dead. So that is a good story, I think, because that is why I attempted to buy the dip on Friday, because I figured to myself, self, if they were actually going to do this, why would they advertise ahead of time exactly what their plans are? Seems not warlike in some way, not that I know anything, but anyway, I did that a little bit early and we'll see what happens this week. I'll talk about levels to levels. Last week, I did think that the markets would close up. Wasn't sure by how much, but uh, I was wrong about that, except for in small caps, which were the most dire. So this is really interesting, right? Um, I'll, I'll talk about it on each of the charts, but what I saw wasn't panic on Friday. It was rotation. So that's interesting to me. And we'll talk about it on each of the charts. And with that said, you ready? Whoop. All right, let's talk charts. Okay, so let's start off by looking at ES yearly. Oh, goodness, what a difference a week makes. So we're back down here now. As far as the monthly goes, mm, right under around the OK pivot, right there. Let's look at the weekly. All right, so um, we closed the week down. Now, I had said, I think, actually, right at the freaking top, actually, I said, don't be greedy. And I was talking to my, I was actually meaning that to go to my friend, but that's because I was like, you know what, this, this looks like just, this looks like people are going to sell into it, you know, because I could just see all of the sentiment was like, yeah, you know, we're going to melt up and da, 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 da. I'm like, oh no, no. I know when everybody is on the same page, that's a bad sign. So that's what that was. But anyway, uh, we went down a lot further than I thought we would go down from that point. Um, and so we close the week still above the okay pivot here um, and not 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 quite in the better territory yet though. So this you know it, this is a I don't know it, generally speaking, I would call a bearish engulfing something that would encompass the entire candle. So I wouldn't say that, but it's not a bullish looking candle. Um, however, it sort of depends on where we open up what we're gonna do for the week, but these are just levels that I'm watching. Um, 4380 is the okay living with chemistry line. And it happens to be, I think right around where this 50 MA will be. So we'll have to see if we hit that again, if that holds, if not, then potentially we're looking at, a, a higher low, which would be these areas. And after that, we're looking here. So that's just, I'm just watching level to level right now. We'll see where this goes um, until we get some resolution and everything else that's going on. I'll look at the daily here. Okay, so uh, yeah, um, well, we're sort of in the middle of nowhere right now. Let's, on the, on the daily, on my daily chart anyway, other people may have charts that were you know, more supported by or resistance to is by, but on mine, we're sort of in the middle of everything. So, um, 4356 is sort of the, you know, you can see we've sort of, we oscillated on it for a week ish here, you know, uh, but so we'll see if we hit that again, if we start to oscillate on it again. Uh, but you know, I don't, and as far as whether or not we've, uh, already seen the lows, I think we have, but I could certainly be wrong. That's just my inclination. I think we're range bound for now. Um, and we'll just start to go, we'll just keep going until we decide which way we're going. That's my, that's how I'm thinking about it right now. Um, so let's look at in queue. Oh, yeah, yo. Um, so I should say, by the way, um, 
for some reason, my data is a little off here. Uh, I don't, I don't pay for the extra data on TradingView, so uh, it's not quite. They're not quite exactly where we closed. But anyway, um, we are below this uh, key support for now on the weekly, which I have is fourteen three hundred point five zero right now, and I have sort of the buy or die level for NQ this week being uh, thirteen eight three seven. And so we'll go from there. So uh, not a lot of, and, and the breakout level or the key, or um, I'm going to just say bullish above is 14,804.75. So those are the three levels that I'm watching. This sort of like, oh, if we start to, if we open above or if we get above 14,300.50, then it's, you know, then potentially it's scalp here. Um, but Really, it's above here, bullish, below here, super bearish. And that's a huge range. And I'm sorry, but that's just the way things go in a volatile market. Other than that, now, from a daily perspective, Sunday night slash Monday, uh, the, the martini line is 14.445. And uh, you can see we closed ooh, way below that on Friday. So we'll see if we can get back above it. Um, you know, this is it a flag ah, maybe it's possible but um I, I don't like the flags to come down so far on the pole if you know what i'm saying like because it's like see that it's this is one like that's the pole and then flag 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 question mark now so if it gets above 14 or or five, then potentially, yeah, it is. But if it gets much below this 14112.5, then mm, no, it's something else. We don't know. So I just thought I'd bring that up. Now, small caps, what are you doing? Why are you green? What's happening? What are you doing? Um, this was the most dire looking indice last week. It was the one that I told you that, yeah, there's a chance that movie. Um, but it, yeah okay it closed green for the week what in the world now from a purely technical perspective it back tested the 50 ma here and then it was or, uh like or is it the 50 no it looked back back tested the nine excuse me and then it was like nope not getting above that so um yeah we'll have to see it's not technically bullish until it is above these ma's or the robot line for example but um you know, these are the levels I'm watching. If you're looking to buy the dip, the sort of buy or die area here is 1944.7. Then, uh, you know, the, the the kind of like, all right, we've, you know, maybe there's a chance is above 2072.4. And then the, huh, what in the world is 2152. Okay, now let's look at uh, Tesla. Okay, so Tesla, you know, I, you know, I can always tell the position somebody has by the phrasing of their tweets. Like whether if they say if something is down, you know, three percent and there's like it's crashing, like what are you talking about? Especially if it's something volatile. And I will tell you that Tesla is volatile if you didn't already know, you know. So um there is a redemption line here. I reduced my position that I had. Um and I already taken a little bit of profit, but I reduced um on Friday just because I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Maybe that was a mistake. Who knows? But above 872.69. Yay. We're back in the game here. There is, um, you know, if you're looking at this downward channel as part of potentially a flag, uh, the bottom of that channel and also previous uh, measured move is about uh, eight. Well, it's in the zone between 835.16 and 858.94 so that may be the buy zone uh, you know if you're if you're and it also would be if it does that it would also be a higher low so that would be the area i would be looking to buy add back if it gets there and, and then you know potentially stop out below this previous low so that's my strategy that's what i'm doing all right let's look at arc you know it closed the week down it is not above our uh lfg pivot i also reduced on that um so we'll have to see back above this 74.65 and i think it'll start to look good actually i you know we're still above this uh, high volume 
candle buying. But the, the way I look at those, and I think I explained this before, is I look at the candle that's like the really high volume that I think all the all the um, buying is on. And then I look at the top of that candle. And then that's sort of for me, and that's what this yellow line is. That's sort of for me the, okay, you know, that's all of these people are still, uh, not people, these are probably machines, let's be frank. But that's where they're more confident is above that the top of that candle where all the buying is and we ended the week below so above the top of that candle which is approximately it's this week it's all in line 74.65 ish then it's i think good very good below below you know in this area is it still okay yeah it's still okay it's accumulation i think but down below this uh, low, and it can go lower than that because sometimes they do that just to whoop the people out that bought on there. It's not good. So anyway, the pivot that I'm watching there is like, uh, you know, could it, it below the low? It's not great, but you know, could this area be? It's anywhere between 60.40 and 58.15. Okay, now let's look at Bitcoin. All right, I had talked about 44 to 300 being resistance. Well. Look out. Can I just, hey, good job, Julia. Thanks. Appreciate it. The ambulance line is 35.676 still. I drew in a new line here. Who does? In case we see some pooping, um, then this line is the one that needs to hold 38.156.3 approximately at some point this week. Who knows exactly when, but if it starts to poop, I'll tweet about it live and we'll see what happens. But if it gets back above this 44.300 level, Yay. Okay. Now let's look at Ethereum. Okay. Same thing with this key here, 2960.78, shared it many times. Uh, we are back below it as of right now. If it comes down to this 2766.10 level, that's where I think it needs to hold. That would also coincide, I think, with this RSI. Okay. So, and a breakout would be above 3000.87. Now, Doge, my love, my love, my love, my love. All right, Doge. Doge is showing relative strength compared to those two. Who is surprised? Not me. But it still needs to get above this orange line to really break the F out into the zone. It's reminding me of gold. It's really annoying and frustrating. But look at what these MAs have done, okay? They've done the whoop, a de whoop. Very similar to what happened right here. Whoop, a de de whoop. So you can see the one goes under the other, then the other goes under the other. I don't know how to explain that. The, see, this one goes under the other, and then the first one goes under the other. And as soon as all three of them start curling up, that's where we get our action, okay? So I like it down here. I think it's consolidation. I think it's a really good buy as far as cryptos go. And I think it's the value buy, and I think it's the one... It's the one for me. I like it. A plus. All right, let's look at GDX, gold miners. Well, I don't know why I'm so happy. It's pretty much back to where I attempted to rebuy it the first time. But anyway, listen, I, you know what? I was, I was doing some things down here. I was accumulating some stuff. Okay. So I had a very good week last week overall, overall um because i'm very heavy in the metals and stuff i think that's the way to go I, personally this year i think it'll be good but anyway okay the market was pooping last week you saw the es candle you saw the nq candle you saw the rty candle or the small caps but look at this candle this was a really good candle and it's still very low compared to uh you know like oh i don't know year ago so it's still very low it's still within the accumulation zone uh, i think down here so i'm just going to say above this 33.2 which is my yellow dotted line that i've had since about here uh good very good i think it'll come up to this 34.76 area okay um but it can back test and i don't want it to but see how the curl is starting to happen with the ma's it's starting to do the thing. We just need it not to poop. It can even close a little bit lower. That would be okay. Just don't poop. Stay above 31.27. Please, please, please. Thank you. Amen. Okay. That's my, that's my thing. Let's look at gold. Okay. This is weird. I'm a cheap ass. I don't pay for the data from trading view, but see where the weekly says it's closed. It didn't close there. It closed at about 1860.6. Okay. That's like way up here. I don't know why it did that. I don't like it. Anyway, um, but can I just talk about how great my lines are? Because it closed exactly, on, this says it closed on my line. And look, it closed, that's, see, see, if it closed above that, it would be what? It would be above RSI 
resistance. So that's where it actually closed. Anyway, the pivots for this week, a breakout above where we closed. Um, it needs to get above eight. Well, it needs to get. Um, it's going, if it gets above 1871.2 and starts to hold that, that's going to be your sign that it's going to uh, the freaking uh, moon, which is this next level up. Okay. Um, but it needs to do that first. And we'll see. It might have some backtracking. I don't know. The hope would be that if nothing bad happens or if something bad, but I don't want to hope. The, the hope would be that if nothing bad happens, that people will start to view and that machines will start to view gold and silver and miners as potential hedges to their long equities position, other long equities position moving forward. That is my thought process. Not that I know anything, but anyway, so I just wanted to say that. Um, okay, so 1839, in my opinion, if it gets there, would be an area to buy this week if it gets there. Um, and 1871.2 would be a breakout. All right, let's look at silver. Same deal. Um, it closed at 23.60, which is above these levels on the weekly. I just wanted to point that out. Okay. So, uh, these are the two levels below I'm watching. If it backtracks a little bit, 23.475 is an area of some support. You see it's starting to do the curl thing that Doge is doing. It's starting to do the curl. Um, and 23.11 again is sort of let me just also because that's key as well on the downside okay so above this 24.945 get the f in okay if you're not in i mean this is not financial advice but like now what are you doing it's above all three amaze at that point get above get above all right but if uh it, if it kind of backtracks a little bit and goes all the way to 23.11 might but we'll be buying there Yep. And that looks like it'll also coincide with one of the MAs. Yay. Whenever that happens, yay. Definitely. Yay. Okay. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm, I'm long and strong. Let's look at oil. Oh, yo, 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 yo. So I had tried to swing an oil short. I was getting a little cocky probably because I was like, oh, if it holds beneath, well, not cocky. I don't think, I don't think so. I'm not really cocky. If it, I was like, if it holds beneath uh, 89.23 for any period of time, I thought it was going to poop, but it didn't hold beneath 18, uh, sorry, 89.23. So it didn't poop. Hello. Um, this is interesting too. Look at these oil equities. They closed up as well, but, but this chicken scratch divergence I put in here is still in place. So it's still lower than here the RSI. So to me, it looks like it's going to go down, but I don't, you know, the levels I'm watching are below 92.04 and stays there. I think it's going to go to 89.23 below that. I think it's going to poop. Okay. But if it holds 92.04, uh, or if it breaks down and then gets back above it, then potentially I'm wrong and it goes straight to you know, 100 bajillion dollars. I don't know, but I don't think so. But I don't know. That's my opinion. Okay, let's look at um, natural gas. So a friend of mine who's not a trader uh, texted me over the weekend and said, should I buy VIX? Oh, oh, oh my God, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? And I was like, oh no, you should have bought VIX when I said, don't be greedy. That's when you should have bought VIX. So, uh, no, I, I said, no, you should buy natural gas. Now, that's the advice I give my friends. I hope it doesn't go down more because then what would I give my enemies? But anyway, I think natural gas is a really great hedge against this situation that's going on because it's one of the few commodities that hasn't mooned despite a lot of uh, uh, reasons for it too. Let me just put it that way. But it And it closed above this MA barely, 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 barely. I mean, I think it's a good idea to have some exposure to it. Although I will say people call it the Widowmaker. Uh, it's, um, you know, it, it's very volatile and you only have to look at a long term chart to know uh, that potentially it, it can eat, eat you alive. Right. Look at these weeks of going down. But you know what? Look at these weeks of going up. It's I think it's going to if it holds for I think it's going to go to eight. I think so think so. I really think so. I think so. 
and it closed the week just just a week ago. Okay, so anyway, that's what I'm uh, thinking for that. And let's look at coffee. Coffee bounced almost oh so close off of my resistance channel here, but this is looking very bullish overall. It has a higher high. It's uh, all of the MAs are what going up. They're curled up and. I, I think it's a really nice thing just to have working for you so that you don't have to do anything and you can just have, like I just have it in my investment account. I don't look at it every day. You know, as long as it's not pooping or going to the moon, I don't pay any attention to it really because it's just going up. It just, I don't have to do anything. You know what I mean? But for now, there is some divergence there, okay, that we should be aware of. So either it needs to get going pretty quickly, I think, in the upward direction, which could happen, which I hope happens, or it's possible that this divergence will play out and it will poop and then I will buy more. So the levels I'm looking for to buy more, should it go there, is 62.15 and 59.91. That's the bottom of the channel. And also uh, this uh, MA here, it looks like the 20 MA is going to uh, coincide with my line at 62.15. Okay, that's it. Yay! All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching my uh, video. I do appreciate it. And I'm going to announce a partnership this week. So if you could please retweet. Oh, I'm going to make myself big. Sorry. If you could please like retweet that and like it and like interact with me on that. That'd be great. Because then I can get more sponsors and more partners. And then I can be happy. And you can be happy and then I'll be happy. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>